Good morning, my name is Jacob Hubert and I'm senior attorney at the Liberty Justice Center. This morning we filed a lawsuit in federal court challenging Illinois' system of election day voter registration. In 2014, Illinois legislature, legislators passed a law creating a system of election day voter registration in Illinois. The system they created is not fair because it doesn't give everyone in Illinois an equal opportunity to register and vote on election day. The law requires Illinois' counties with 20, with, uh, Illinois's 20 counties with a population of 100,000 or more to allow people to register and vote at their local precinct polling places on election day. But the law does not require Illinois' 82 counties with a population under 100,000 to allow people to vote at their local polling places on election day. As a result, most of those low population counties are not going to offer election day registration at their polling places. It's costly and difficult to implement, so if they don't have to do it, almost certainly they're not going to do it. And so because of this system, it's going to be much easier for people in higher population counties to register and vote on election day uh, than it will be for people in lower population counties. That's unfair and it's unconstitutional. The state cannot give some citizens better opportunities to vote than it gives to other citizens. And this scheme isn't just unfair to voters, it's also unfair to the candidates who depend on support from voters in lower population counties. It's hard to believe that's an accident. The General Assembly passed this scheme on strict party lines shortly after Governor Bruce Rauner was elected to office, but before he took office. Every senator and representative who voted for this scheme was a Democrat, and every senator and representative who voted against it was a Republican. Not coincidentally, high population counties tend to favor Democratic candidates, and lower population counties tend to favor Republican candidates. So what did Democratic legislators really do when they enacted Illinois' scheme of Election Day registration? They tilted the political playing field to favor Democrats like them. They set up a scheme designed to boost voter turnout. To, they set up a scheme designed to boost Democratic voter turnout more than it would boost Republican voter turnout. This is just another example of how Illinois politicians rig the system to keep themselves in power. If Illinois wants to provide election day registration at the, at the polling places, it can do so in a way that's fair and equal. Six other states, including Illinois' neighbors, Wisconsin and Indiana, have enacted election day registration schemes that give voters statewide the opportunity to register and vote at their polling places. They don't favor voters in some counties over voters in other counties. In fact, no other state has an election day registration scheme that discriminates in favor of voters in some counties and against voters in other counties. One of our clients in this case is Patrick Harlan, a candidate for Congress. He's bringing this lawsuit to make sure that his supporters in lower population counties have the same opportunities to register and vote that people in higher population counties have. Our other, count, our other client in this case is the Crawford County Republican Party. Crawford County has about 19,000 residents and won't be offering election day registration at its polling places. The Crawford County Republican Party wants to make sure that voters in Crawford County have the same opportunity to vote as, as people in higher population counties. In our lawsuit, we're asking the federal court to order the Illinois State Board of Elections to direct election authorities in all 102 Illinois counties not to provide election day registration at polling places. That's the only way a federal court can fix the unfairness of this law. And again, the General Assembly could fix the unfairness of this law by simply making election day registration available at polling places everywhere, not just in places where the political party, where a political party wants to boost its turnout. Thank you, and I'll be happy to take questions. Why strike all of it down? Why not propose some kind of solution? 
Well, to be clear, we're, we are not advocating striking down the entire election day uh, uh, registration scheme that was enacted. Uh, we are only challenging the part that pertains to one's ability to vote at precinct polling places. In 2014, the state had a pilot election day registration program that allowed voters statewide to register and vote on election day by going to a centralized location. And that's fair, that's equal, and, and that's part of the new scheme as well, and we don't challenge that part of it. So in any event, voters will have an opportunity to register and vote on election day if they want to. But what we're challenging is just the part relating to polling places, which isn't fair because, of course, if you can, uh, uh, if you can go to your polling place and register and vote, that's a whole lot easier than going to some other office and doing it and voting. And, and to fix this scheme, what the state can do is what six other states have done, what Wisconsin and Iowa have done, and that is just make it available at polling places everywhere. That's right. Uh, we can't ask the federal court to make Illinois have uh, election day registration at all polling places because the General Assembly hasn't authorized that. The federal court would essentially have to rewrite the law and impose an unfunded mandate on every county in Illinois, which isn't appropriate for a federal court to do. Well, I mean, the legislature can correct this. We, we, you know, we've, we're calling attention to the problem through this, and so if they want to correct it, they certainly can do so, and we hope they do so. Can you elaborate a little more on the uh, legal theory, I guess, behind your, your lawsuit? You mentioned that you believe it violates the 14th Amendment. Can you just elaborate a little more on that? Sure. Uh, the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment uh, gives every qualified citizen the right to vote on an equal basis. And the Supreme Court has made clear that you can't arbitrarily discriminate against certain voters based on where they live. But that's exactly what this statute does on its face. And uh, can you uh, elaborate again on the kind of relief that you're seeking from the federal court? Or, or are you seeking to uh, strike down this part of the law, rewrite this part of the law? I just want to uh, clarify. What kind of relief are you, can you get from this federal court? Well, before this election, we'll be filing a, prelimin a motion for preliminary injunction asking the court to direct the State Board of Elections to direct all county election authorities not to implement Election Day registration at polling places at all for this election. And then ultimately the relief would be to strike down this portion of the Election Day registration scheme, which discriminates in who can uh, who can vote? Uh, excuse me. Who can register and vote at their polling place on election day? It's just that portion that we would ask the court to strike down, not the rest of the election day registration scheme. And uh, why are you bringing forward this lawsuit now? I mean, it's, it was enacted in 2014. It, I was just wondering what, why why now? Why now, as opposed to say a month ago or even a year ago? Well. Uh, we didn't notice it a year ago. We noticed it more recently than that. And then, of course, it takes time to put a lawsuit together. So now is when we're bringing it. Obviously, it's very urgent because the November election is just over three months away. And it would have been better to bring it sooner. But uh, we're bringing it now because now is when we're prepared to bring it. Uh, I guess, conversely, you know, you've mentioned that this law would, uh, you know, the, the laws that's currently enacted benefits uh, yeah, it seems to benefit the Democratic Party more because this law is occurring and it's mandatory in larger counties which favor Democrats. Wouldn't by asking a preliminary injunction to halt this activity before the election, wouldn't that decrease Democratic Party turnout? It would make the law neutral so that the law isn't playing favorites with voters in one county versus another. And then the political parties are playing on an equal playing field. Uh, so it would simply make the law neutral and then how an election shakes out once you have neutral laws is of course up to the up to the voters to decide who they're going to vote for and uh sorry uh, uh with respect to the other 80 or so counties that have that, that are uh, currently uh, it's optional for them to do this are you aware of any counties that are actually uh setting up this kind of system to allow voters to register on election day at polling places I believe Grundy County is rushing at considerable expense to get this in place, even though they don't have to. That's the only county we're aware of uh, that 
uh, has, that doesn't have to offer election day registration at the polls, but is going to do so anyway. Well, thank you.